Hello, thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking a moment out of your busy schedule to learn a little bit more about who we are, who the Pivotal Network is, um, and, and the work that we do. Um, so we're trying a different model. We're gonna condense a little bit of what we are in this video and allow more opportunities for folks to engage. So again, I just wanna say thank you for taking the time. With all that being said, let's just dive into it and give you a glimpse of what the Pivotal Network is. My name is Jerome Smalls. I am the program manager for the Pivotal Network. I graduated from Georgetown University in 2019. I majored in marketing, minor in African-American studies, but during my tenure as an undergrad, I really uh, got invested in youth development and quickly learned that youth development and education is quite synonymous. And so I stuck around and I'm working full time on an initiative that is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, from our correspondence thus far, you might know that the Pivotal Network is an initiative that's dedicated to helping teachers. Yes, but we're specifically dedicated to helping teachers who support first generation and low income students. And this work, like I said, is near and dear to me because I myself was a first gen and low income student um, while at Georgetown. And I just look forward to getting to know you, but also allowing you to get to know us. So with that, I'm going to pass the mic over to my wonderful colleague here. Hello, everybody. I'm Heidi Elmendorf, um, and I'm the director of the Hub for Equity and Innovation at Georgetown University, and it's the hub that serves as the home for the Pivotal Network. Um, Jerome described his journey to this place where uh, we now work together um, through a personal lens. Mine's professional. So I taught high school um, as my entry point into the world of teaching and learning. Um, but then for the last 22 years, I've been a professor at Georgetown. For um, the last half of that time period, my emphasis more and more has focused on issues of justice and diversity and equity and inclusion. Um, and now for almost 20 years, I've run a partnership between the math and science departments at Georgetown uh, and the DC public school system, partnering with specific classrooms and teachers in those schools. Um, when we think about the work of um, the hub and we think about issues of equity in higher education, um, one of the key points where we know one of the friction points is lies is in access. And getting into higher education, we hope that more and more we create new pathways for students to come to us from all different walks of life. But we know that kind of the traditional pathway is to come out of high school and enter into college. And the Pivotal Network is designed to focus on that particular pathway. Jerome described this idea about students who come to us for especially from low income, first generation backgrounds, students from racial or ethnic minorities, students whose citizenship status in this country is at risk. Um, all are students who face what we call the challenge of undermatching. And undermatching simply means that those students are less likely to attend a college or university that lives up to their potential academically, to their career ambitions, that's really gonna be the school that serves them best. And it's that challenge, which under matching, that the Pivotal Network is intended to address. There are a number of other initiatives out there, many of them may be functioning in your schools to help students overcome the challenge of undermatching. But most of those initiatives are student focused. Um, and they really look to almost the cream of the crop, those very best students in all of your classes with the goal of getting them into the very best colleges and universities in the country. This initiative is out of Georgetown. And so we also appreciate the really top students coming to a school like Georgetown. But we think the issue of undermatching is much broader than that. And the Pivotal Network really wants to work at the systems level to help all students better achieve their dreams of higher education. And if we're going to work at that level, then we need to work with people who have impact broadly with all students in high school. And that means you. That means teachers. Um, what we've come to realize is that schools like Georgetown have a really unique insight into the teachers that are having the greatest impact on students' educational journeys. The ones who are not only teaching them exceptionally well in the classroom, preparing them academically, but are serving as mentors and coaches and confidence and advocates who believe in students' growth potential, who believe that they have something exceptional to say in our world, who nurture their creativity, 
And we know all of this about teachers because you write to us. You write to us letters of recommendation for your students when they apply to college. We know what we usually do with those letters of recommendation. We use them to evaluate students and to accept these phenomenal individuals into our communities. But if you read the letters again, we also realize that they're not just telling you about the students, you're telling us about yourselves. You're telling us about what you've done with these students and how you've helped them to find their way to us. The Pivotal Network is based on using these letters as a really unique insight into the remarkable educators across the high school educational landscape of our country. One might even say pivotal educators. And so it's with all of you in mind that we've created the Pivotal Network. And we do hope that you come to join us on our journey. And so you may be questioning and wondering, what exactly is that journey? What does that entail? We have been striving and working diligently over the past year and a half or so to create a genuine support network for high school teachers like yourself, um, who are all serving the students and populations that Heidi has just described. We currently have 25 phenomenal teachers helping us, designing with us, and growing with us and they've been doing so for the past year and we're looking to scale, we're looking to grow. And so we're looking for 25 more teachers to join us on this journey. And we really want you to be a part of it. Before I get into what the next steps of the understanding and relationship building may look like between us and you, I wanna give you a quick recap as to what we've done so far. So you can think about more of us in a practical way than a theoretical. Over the past year, we've been busy. And as I mentioned, we've got 25 teachers that we recruited around this time last year to join us. But they didn't just join us to be a part of our inaugural cohort. They joined us to be a part of what we called our design group. And literally over the summer, 15 weeks, they engaged with us over a series of five design sprints. And with that, we had ideas of what, as to what we want the Pivotal Network to be. But it was with our educators that we really learned and listened and was able to concretely develop a programming and initiatives that were truly for teachers by teachers. And through that summer, we were designing, right? Figuring out, okay, what is this thing gonna look like when we started off in fall of 2020? And we thought we were designing the professional learning where we actually learned that that design process was professional learning for our educators. And since then, we have come to center a space where educators can freely think and collaborate and imagine to be pinnacle to who we are and what we do. And so from those design sprints came the creation of what we call the Pivotal House, our virtual platform, since this is a virtual network that connects educators across the country. We then launched into our pilot year and we created spaces of design studios where educators can constantly bring challenges that they're working on in real time and have a community of folks to help them think through in innovative ways to address these very complex issues. We've also created student town halls where we are literally not just connecting educators, but connecting their students through rich dialogues around how to apply for college, financial aid, and scholarships. And last but not least, we've also um, enacted what we call our fireside chats, which are opportunities for educators to learn from experts and thought leaders and professionals in higher education. So this is just a taste of the work that we've done over the past year, and we'll exclude, include more information on everything um, in our follow-up. But we hope that this video gives you a better sense of who we are and what we've done. And if you're still of interest, we would love for you to engage in a, in a brief conversation with us that we have scheduled in the next coming weeks. And so our conversations that we have scheduled uh, as extended info sessions, if you will, are shorter, but just as powerful. And we hope that you join us. And if you go to these and you come to learn who we are and you're like, OK, I like these people, um, our follow ups uh, include you being able to answer a written questionnaire asynchronously to tell us a little bit more about yourself. We'll also extend opportunities for you to join some of those fireside chats that I mentioned. We have two coming up in the, in the next few weeks. And then if you go through that and you get to know us a little bit more, and you're like, hey, I still like these people, uh, we'll then offer uh, an extension for you to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with us that are a little bit more rich, a little bit more in depth, so that you can learn more um, and really see if this relationship is mutually beneficial going forward. I hope, this short video packs a punch and you're able to learn more about who we are, but we're always just an email away um, at thepivotalnetwork at georgetown.edu.
And so I thank you again for taking this time. I hope to see you at some of our upcoming conversations. And we look forward to learning more about you as you learn more about us. Thank you.